tech firms are rushing to patch a security hole that is affecting billions of computers and smartphones. It's caused by two major flaws in computer chips called Meltdown and Spectre. They can allow hackers to steal sensitive data like passwords or see what tabs you've opened on your device. Uh, researchers say Meltdown affects only chips made by Intel, while Spectre exists in almost every computing system. Let's find out what this means for us. I'm joined now by Bryce Bolin from the cybersecurity firm FireR. Bryce, good to see you again. Um, wow, how do I know whether one of my devices, a smartphone, a, a PC, a laptop, has been affected here? Well, Christy, great question. If it's been built in the last 15 years, chances are pretty good that it's affected by one of these two vulnerabilities. Both of these vulnerabilities, uh, basically part of what makes these computers so fast today is uh, the capability that's been built into them, but that's a it also has created a vulnerability, and that vulnerability is a bit like giving an attacker X-ray vision to be able to see into a safe and be able to see the secrets inside the safe. Okay, I don't like that. So how do I fix it? Well, it's not going to be you who fixes it. It's going to be mostly two different groups of people. One is the software vendors, and we've already seen Microsoft and Google and Apple making, uh, and, and Red Hat Linux, making changes in their operating system to affect one of those bugs. And that will, that will fix that, that bug. Um, but there's another bug which enables pretty much anybody who wants to conduct an attack who can get code on your machine, a web browser or an app installed on your phone, to be able to see into the secrets on other parts of the phone, other parts of your computer. That's going to take quite a long time to fix. It's going to take software as well as redesigns of the hardware that we all use. Wow, is it, it's going to take a patch, it's going to take software, a redesign. A U.S. government statement, it says this, quote, fully removing the vulnerability requires replacing vulnerable CPU hardware. I mean, wait, does that mean that we need more than a patch here, that we have to actually replace our hardware? Uh, to completely resolve all of the issues, that is currently the case. There is no wow. way that you can completely solve this problem without hardware support. It is, in fact, a design uh, flaw in the implementation of the chips that we all use. And that is why it's going to require hardware fixes. But that doesn't mean that all hardware needs to be replaced. Only those that are going to be most at risk in some areas, uh, the hardware needs to be replaced if it's going to have significant performance degradation as a result of the software fixes as well. And to clarify, this is not just an Intel chip problem. This is a serious overall chip maker design problem, again, affecting billions of our devices. How did this come to be? How did this happen? Well, what's happened in the last 20 years, everyone's started to use computers for lots of things, and they wanted those computers to be faster and faster. And what we've seen here is a design choice that was made in a way to improve the speed of computers has created this opportunity for a, a vulnerability. It's a weakness in the design that wasn't always able to be easily exploited. And now uh, some very intelligent researchers have identified a way to take advantage of it and to be able to exploit it in a way that would make every computer using those speed ups uh, vulnerable. So that's why it's happened. It's something that has been uh, talked about for a number of years, but now we have real world uh, practical examples of how it can be exploited and that creates a big risk for everybody going forward. Yeah, I appreciate your advice as always. You know, I, I know I have to patch it. I'm kind of lazy about these things. I will put it on my to-do list. Bryce Bullen of Fire, I thank you so much. We'll talk again soon.